Welcome to another infographic instant with your host Brian Michael. In this graph we'll be looking at the the summit or the final conclusion of the paper that we've been discussing in a number of infographics and specifically we're going to address the issue of policy activism as the best way for a global wealth management firm to grow wealth. So you'll recall over this series of infographics we've been discussing a paper looking at how financial advisors can grow the amount of wealth that they manage for their clients and the number of clients in their book of business. And when you read the paper you'll see that we've gone through a wide variety of factors and we found that uh, allocation of resources to institution building, to rule of law, to, to things like that, those are the, the greatest predictors for the accumulation of wealth and the increase of affluent and high net worth individuals across countries. So then that leads the question, well, what is a financial advisor to do? And that brings us to the infographic you see before you. Uh, in this infographic, we summarize uh, several measures of institutions we use throughout the paper as on the horizontal axis, the measure of financial institutional quality, and you also see changes in wealth in countries across times. So what we observe is that there's two main markets, and, and you've seen this in the infographics all throughout the series, is on one hand you have OECD and upper income jurisdictions that seem to react to wealth and the creation of wealth in one way and you have basically everyone else the developing world that tends to react to developing wealth in another way and so we see that clearly in this uh, infographic that looks like a fish right you have one line which is concave up which is bending up like an arch and you have another line which is bending down like the bottom of a bowl. And so how do we interpret the, this fish-looking infographic? And I, I think that the green line representing developing countries, that tells us that as financial institutional quality rises, we have growth of wealth up to a point up to about 7-8% uh, in the proxy that we've, that we've constructed to make this story simpler. After that 8% you see decreasing returns to financial institutional quality as wealth growth decreases. On the other hand you see the opposite effect in the OECD uh, countries that financial institutional quality tends to, to decrease the growth of wealth for very low levels of institutional quality but overall uh, better financial institutions tend to correlate with uh, faster growing wealth. So the other interesting thing, the other possible hypothesis one can develop from this infographic is well maybe there's some kind of equilibrium investment between these two these two areas. Maybe it's possible that for as uh, financial institutions develop to focus resources on those areas until they reach a certain point and then shift over to the OECD where the returns to relatively well-developed financial institutions increase. Now what does this theory mean practically for financial advisors? Uh, again we cannot uh, give very specific recommendations based on the, the kind of data trolling exercise but there is a hypothesis that financial advisors and senior managers in the international broker-dealer firms may want to keep in mind. And that is that they can engage in policy activism uh, through uh, business councils, through a dialogue with the government. They can engage in this kind of activity to improve financial institutional quality. They'll, they'll see large profits and growth of wealth in their clients' portfolios, particularly in the developing world, as they engage with governments on this kind of development. And then over time, as the developing world becomes developed, then they can refocus their efforts to the OECD. This has been an Infographic Instant with Brian Michael.